is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Houston Rockets. Here with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. And getting the inside reporting from the sideline, it's David Aldridge. opening day for another season of NBA basketball. Mike, I know you're as excited as I am to be back in action. I think the real question is, are we as excited as these fans? They are done waiting. All the offseason speculation and anticipation finally comes to an end here. And the shooter had really no airspace to get that shot off. That's good D. Yeah, terrific defense. Doing a great job contesting without fouling. Now, here is Smith. And the pass to Maxwell. Shot clock at six. Back to Smith. Puts up a three. A second chance effort. And Elijah Wan finishes inside. Gotta put a body on Elijah Wan. When you don't, he punishes you for that mistake. Anderson is screen on Smith. Strickland passes to Elliott. Cans the shot from the wing. Can't afford to leave him open from mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Maxwell against Anderson. Passes it to Smith. Pass to Elijah Wan. Goes back up. And it's Smith laying it in. Hey, the defense had him wrapped up, but that's just terrific concentration by Smith to hit the shot. Pass to Elliott. Elijah Wan against Robinson. Elijah Wan with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Elijah Wan. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Olajuwon doing a nice job using his long arms and big hands to bother shooters, and man, he gets it done on defense. Smith outside. The pass to Thorpe, just five on the clock. Here's Maxwell. A rebound by the Spurs. Here's Strickland. This is a duelia. To the right side. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. You know, I admit there is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to setting screens, but that one was pretty clear cut to me. Yeah, got to have your feet set. He did easy call for the officials. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Maxwell's shot is no good. And stolen by Elijah Wan. And he recovers it. The mobility Elijah Wan possesses is impressive, which in turn draws the defense's team. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Line for the Rockets. Hakeem Elijah Wan taking two shots. And that one falls for Elijah Wan. And when you look at Akeem, the footwork and post moves really stand out. It's what allows him to be so dominant. And the Spurs making a change here. Cars checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played. Pass to Cummings. Over to the wing. Pass to Carr. Here is Elliott, covered by Johnson. Four on the shot clock. Elijah Wan with the block. Great timing. Elijah Wan waiting on that shot all the way. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Maxwell against Anderson. Takes a three. Maxwell's shot is no good. Anderson in the post, covered by Thorpe. A nice shot by Anderson. It's a tie ball game. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Here matched up against San Antonio is how they'll tip off the new season. One twenty-one left here in the opening quarter. It's on target from the high post. This team depends on Smith to drain these in-between jumpers, and he doesn't let them down. And there's the pass to Cummings. Passes to Strickland. Six on the shot clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Here's Elliott. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Rockets have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Johnson off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Pass to Elliott. Out to the wing. And here is Cummings. Here's Strickland. Still without a basket. Over Thorpe. Again, the Spurs. Good for two. The Rockets have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Smith outside. Pass to Elijah Wan. Shooting over Cummings. Oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! What a shot to beat the buzzer. And that's how you gain momentum. Yeah, that kind of a shot always energizes a team, and they'll look to build off of it going into the next quarter. And so the first quarter is in the books. Rockets lead by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? Well, the goal clearly for them has been to attack the paint and get that ball inside every chance they get. And I just love how aggressive they were in that first quarter getting inside. It's paid off, and I'm sure they'll keep at it. And the basket is good. And, you know, even when you deal Lajuan up, he still overwhelms you with his size and footwork. It's an outstanding feel for the interior. Here's Presley. Kicks it to Green. Ice ball movement by San Antonio. Carr, the pass to Green. Bullard pulls it in. Rockets leading by six. To the inside. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. First team. A little improv on the finish. He's having fun out there. Mark, in general, the game's as physical now as it's ever been. There's no such thing anymore as easy buckets. Yeah, I agree with that, Kevin. And you've got to give a lot of credit to the bad boys in Detroit for that. The physicality they brought, but also the mental toughness, the ability of that team to wear you down physically, emotionally, and mentally. And we know it's a copycat league, so what the Pistons did and had success with is something other teams are trying to duplicate. Free throw drops for Garnett. Spurs trail by nine. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. 
Pressy dishes to Green. He kicks it to Pressy. Johnson outside. Five on the clock. The pass to Cole. Here's Pressy. Three pointer on the way. And uh, Akeem Olajuwon pulls it down. Olajuwon's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Bullard. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Carr, the pass to Green. Here is Carr. Johnson surveying the floor. To the middle. That one's in there. Pocket lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Carr. Making his living in close. Carr is someone you have to deny the ball. Pass to Bullard. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Johnson. It's tipped. Garnett against Pressy. Pass to Carr. Now here's Green. Here's Pressy. Pass to Johnson. 13 feet away. And he stays with it. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Houston with a big group substitution here. Thorpe, he checked in for Herrera. Johnson comes in for Bullard. Maxwell, he's checked in for Garnett. And Smith subbed in for Floyd. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Elliott misses. Pockets leading by seven. Maxwell, the pass to Thorpe. He's hit again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Outstanding job by Thorpe. He was looking to draw the contact and get the foul called, and he got it done. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. free throw good from Thorpe you know Thorpe has a lot of natural ability that makes him a good fit for his position he's got that strength which lends itself to good productive play inside Cummings he's checked in for Robinson He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Spurs trail by eight. There's the pass to Green. Now Cummings. That one doesn't go. Good D by Elijah Wan. Smith with it, now Green defending. Passes it to Maxwell. On the left block, with the tip, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Olajuwon's got the lead up to 10 now for Houston. Great timing to get that one up and down. It was Clark. Nice hustle to get himself in position to make that terrific play happen. You guys said it. Offensive rebounding takes anticipation and hard work. Nice approach, working it in low that time. Caused problems for the defense. Kept them off balance enough to get the bucket. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets.
Rogers making a switch here. Cars checked in and a change for the Rockets. Rollins is checked in. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Smith on the wing to the left wing. Thorpe kicks to Smith. They set the pick. Just four to shoot. To the paint. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And even when you are right in Thorpe's face, he can still score, especially near the rim. Now caught. Anderson inside. He's guarded by Maxwell. Anderson's shot is off. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there, but I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. Pass to Maxwell. Back to Smith. Three-pointer. And the three ball is good. Smith's got seven. Looking at Smith's numbers, this guy is someone you have to guard from deep. He can really shoot it. 17 seconds left in the first half. Here's Strickland. To the wing on the left. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. Just four seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Fires from way outside. And the last second attempt is not going for him. And so it's the Houston Rockets. 13 points up at the end of the period. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Akeem Olajuwon has been sensational. The way he's been working him in the paint has been outstanding, just doing whatever he wants to down there. Yeah, he's been flexing on them, and they've offered little to no resistance in stopping him. They have to get more assertive and have to guard him much better. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Smith surveying the D. Here's Thorpe. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Spurs trail by 13. Pass to Robinson. Doubled by Smith. The pass to Strickland. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Anderson. Shoots a three. And uh, Akeem Olajuwon pulls it down. Olajuwon's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Smith outside. And here's Maxwell for three. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Three points. Smith's got three assists now in this one. The Spurs shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Strickland passes to Elliott. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Here's Cummings, and he banks in the lane. Cummings got his first bucket in this one. Inside, Cummings' length is a big factor. It helps him get just a little closer in for the shot. Maxwell against Anderson. Spins. Maxwell kicks to Smith. Elijah on the pass to Maxwell. And Smith launches it from deep. Rebound San Antonio. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Anderson a screen on Smith. Strickland passes to Elliott. 
Robinson against Elijah Wan. They get the rebound. Rockets leading by 14. On the wing, Johnson covered by Elliott. Smith outside, passes it to Thorpe. Elijah Wan with it. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Floyd's checked in for Maxwell. Number 21, Eric Floyd. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Outside Robinson. Over Elijah Wan. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Robinson. Using his height advantage there feels like nobody can block him from this spot. You like seeing guys use their physical advantages like this. Great shot. Stolen away. Here's Strickland covered by Smith. Shots good by Strickland. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Smith outside. Pass to Fort. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. And now, your first 15. And the Spurs with some changes. Carr comes in for Robinson. And it's Johnson in for Elliott. Houston also making some changes. Rollins comes in for Elijah Wan. And it's Bullard in for Johnson. There's 138 left in the third quarter of the game. Back to Johnson. Anderson up top. Six to shoot. Kicks it out to Johnson. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Rockets leading by 12. Smith outside. Down low, Thorpe. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. What power and body control by Thorpe. Able to absorb contact and still score. The Rockets have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. The Rockets making a switch here. Grant's checked in. What's up? Four left to play here in the third. Pass to Pressy. Here's Green. And Fork pulls it down. 
and usually you can count on him to convert there. The D did just enough to throw him off. Thorpe with a screen on Johnson. Here's Floyd. Another miss by Houston. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Now here's Johnson. Nothing on the board. Unable to get that one. Rockets leading by 15. Here's Floyd. the pass to Bullard. One second left. And so it's the Houston Rockets. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Spurs trail by 15. Passes it to Carr. Here's Preston. Pass to Carr. Here's Preston. Five to shoot. Pass to Carr. Shoots. With the clock winding down, and Green slams it in. And this is what big guys like him should do, using his height to punish the D inside. Here's Floyd. Goes up on the wing. Green for two points. Floyd's got his first points of the night. The sweet J of Sleepy Floyd on full display. They need to find a high percentage shot clock to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down, and that begins to mess with your psyche. Now here's Johnson. From 16 feet away, he can Here's Floyd. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Fires top of the key. Count it good. Floyd's got four points now in the quarter. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Down by 15. San Antonio calls timeout. Both teams decided to change it up. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Larry Brown said to his team. 
Now, he was vocal in the huddle. He told his guys, don't quit on each other. We're still in this game, guys, but I need each one of you to up your energy level. Let's make a run now. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Outside Robinson. Spurs passing it around. The coming shot is good. Now that's confidence. Love seeing coming go right up with the shot. Smith outside. Here's Maxwell. Anderson with the block. Here's Strickland. The pass to Cummings. Anderson outside. Wants to get it to Robinson and up. Shoots over Elijah. That one's in there. Pocket lead is cut down to 11 on the bucket from David Robinson. For Houston, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Maxwell, the pass to Smith. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. No good from 18. For the Spurs, this one's not looking good. Anderson outside. Now the dish to Robinson. Anderson outside. Passes to Cummings. Lock at six. Maxwell against Anderson. With one on the clock, Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. Well, I love Robinson's motor. He's somebody that refuses to quit on the offensive glass. Pass to Elijah Wan. One forty-three left in the fourth quarter. And here's Maxwell for three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Elijah Wan. A team player. Elijah Wan is all about moving the ball and trying to get his teammates going. To the wing right side. Here's Strickland, covered by Smith. Strickland passes to Anderson. Robinson sets a screen for Anderson. Second shot opportunity, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, on offense, Robinson is not shy about asserting himself and creating contact, looking for it to draw fouls. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Houston. The coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. So many assists because of how the team is moving the ball. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. The first one falls. Well, you can just tell the guys on his team look up to Robinson out on the floor. I mean, he's got such leadership qualities, and that's exactly what you want from your best player, a guy who can really galvanize the troops because they respect him so much. That one misses. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Smith dishes to Elijah Wan. Pass to Maxwell. Beyond the arc. Cummings grabs the board. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Spurs. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. And it's good. Two points. Yeah, I like the interior game of Robinson. Really does a nice job with getting deep position and then going to work. Smith right side. On the pass to Maxwell. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Time, out, time, time out. called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Start it. They're behind by nine. 35 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Not much time left here. You think you have a chance to come back? I'm not sure. I seriously doubt it, but it's clear what they've got to do. Quick shot, foul, and hope for some missed free throws.
32 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And it's Strickland missing. Defense backing off there, knowing the mid-ranger is a low percentage low. Maxwell's shot is no good. Look, I don't like to be premature about this, but this thing is done, over, cooked. Well, it's our job to be honest, and come on, no way they're coming back. Shot's good by Strickland. Strickland. And they go to the intentional foul. First personal foul, first team foul. Here's Maxwell, and now we've got the intentional foul. Second personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Houston, Vernon Maxwell taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. The game of Maxwell, he can play at the one or the two. Coaches love that. It gives you versatility. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. San Antonio calls timeout. They're down by seven. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Really good coaching opportunity here. Getting the reserves some minutes that could prove beneficial. Yep, this one's well out of reach. So it's the Spurs now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Great positioning on the putback. Excellent work following the play and getting there for the tip in. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First personal foul, third team foul. Shooting for the Rockets. Vernon Maxwell, two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. That's a seven-point game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? You know, the game is clearly out of reach, but they still want to talk things over. And Coach didn't call this timeout for this game. He called it so that they can be more focused and ready for the next one.
Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. The three from Anderson misses. So we see the Rockets get the win here. And they got to feel good about this win, Mike. They worked hard to come away with it. Yeah, it's a testament to their work ethic as well as their coaching. Everyone came together in order to grab this road victory. And they needed everyone to have uh, all hands on deck, didn't they? They sure did. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge and the rest of our 2K team. This is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.